So hi hello everyone. Welcome back to JS Matras. In this video tutorial we are going to see how to download SRTM data from Earth Explorer. So once you have opened your browser just type in Earth Explorer. So you can see in the first link Earth Explorer that is the official website is earthexplorer.usgs.gov just click the link and you'll be going to the official web page on the left hand side you can find the option search criteria data sets additional criteria and results on the right hand side you can find the map where uh, you can just navigate and search the area which you are interested in that will be highlighted that will be highlighted here so now we just search our data for that you can find the option us features if you want to uh, search the places in us you can just use this one and directly search here otherwise we need to select world features so i'm going to type in the area of study so this is my area of study ray Pali, and hit the button show So on the bottom you can just find the details, Raypalli, populated place, India and you can find the lat long. Just click on the Raypalli, it will be automatically highlighted in the map and this can be used for downloading the SRTM data for the Raypalli region. Otherwise you can manually select the region. So that can be done. On the blank map you have just have to put the vertices and create a polygon like structure you can easily edit the shapes as well so this is my area of study that can be chosen using this polygon as well another thing you can upload KML file for that you have to just select this option uh, near to the geocoder just select the KML or shapefile upload so in order to upload the KML or shapefile or we uh, in order to download the data first we, we need to log in we need to log in to the earth explorer so just click on login so if you don't have an account in earth explorer uh, you can easily create an account if you have a any doubts in uh, creating the account in earth explorer i have uh, put a video for it and i have just put it in the description section you can just uh, uh, click the link and watch the video as well as i have just put it in the cards you can just check it now coming back to this section now just uh, select the option sign in so without uh, create, creating an account we can't download any data from earth explorer uh, it has a lot of products available now you can just go to the option KML or shapefile upload. Here, if you have a KML or KMZ file, you can just uh, use this option select file to upload that file. So that will be automatically shown in the map. So by that way, you can also select the area of interest and download the data for it. So I'm just going to the normal uh, method where we are going to just select manually. So already we have found where the ray is. Ray Pali. So once you have just uh, type the location, it will be automatically showing here. And here you can also edit. Once you have found the location, you can customize your area of interest. For example, I need it from here. Like this, you can just create a lot of vertices and uh, create a polygon like polygon. It can be of any shape. And now go to the option data sets. Here you can find a lot of data is available. So we are going to download SRTM. For that, we need to select the digital elevation and come down to the option SRTM. So you can see here 
four uh, data are available. So we are going to focus on SRTM one arc second, and uh, we are going to focus on SRTM wide field. So the two uh, difference difference uh, is between the two uh, data. The difference is the SRTM one arc second globe is of 30 meter resolution, and the SRTM wide field is 90 meter resolution. So you can just choose any of this based on the based on your area. So I need it for a 30 meter resolution. So I am just selecting SRTM 1 arc globe second. The SRTM wide field data is uh, 90 meter resolution. So I am just uh, opting for the first data sets. SRTM non wide field data has lot of uh, gaps in it. So it can create problems. So don't uh, use don't use it. Uh, you can use it if you are uh, know everything about the data, how to process it. Otherwise, you can just go for SRTM one arc second globe or SRTM wide field data. Now, just click on the option results. Here, we will we'll be uh, seeing the results. For example, I am just clicking the food uh, show footprint option. So, you can see here. Uh, this uh, image is covering this much of area and this image is covering this much of area so likewise you can just know how each uh, how, how each scene how much area it covers so here in this example uh, the area which I have selected has four uh, tiles so it's just an example I'm just I'm just going you to I'm just showing you how to download just only one tile so you can see here this tile is covering 70% uh, of the region so I'm just selecting this one I have just selected and highlighted this one now you can see the option download options right here just click here and you will be asked three uh, different file formats so I am going to download the GeoTIFF one arc second so it is uh, useful uh, for uh, running analysis in the QGIS and ArcGIS now just hit the button download so it will be automatically starting to download so you can see here it has been started to download it might be taking a few minutes based on our internet uh, speed and the server speed of USGS so you can see here the data has been successfully downloaded and this is the data which we have downloaded so I am just opening the QGIS and uh, just viewing how the data is go to the option open data source select the data which we have downloaded and just adding it here and this is data which we have downloaded from the USGS you can just see here now just select the option select the uh, downloaded dem data and go to the option properties here select the single band and uh, we can find you can just change the color ramp just click in here and uh, go to the option create new color ramp and select catalog cpt ct just click ok here you can find the option topography just click ok now select the option equal interval and choose your class so yeah, I am just selecting 7 you just see here so this is the data which we have downloaded dem data so Thanks for watching. If you have any doubts on this, please do ask in the comment section. Goodbye.